Hi, my name is Brenda, and I want to tell you what it's like to break your wrist at the age of 55. I want to share my experience so you can hopefully avoid the same problem. When I was 7 years old, I broke my wrist, and it was no big deal. I got a lot of attention, friends signed my cast, and three weeks later the cast was removed, and I went immediately back to all of my usual activities. No big deal. Fast forward about 50 years. I was out running, as I've done for about 30 years, and this time when I tripped and fell over a raised part of the sidewalk, it was an entirely different story. My break was not just a simple broken bone. The radius in my left wrist was broken in five places, and it required surgery, including a titanium plate and five screws to put it back together. But still I thought that it was no big deal, and that I would get my cast off in six weeks and just resume my life again. After my cast was removed, though, I had a rocky and steep uphill climb to recovery. I worked with an occupational therapist twice a week for 12 weeks, along with doing up to three hours a day of assigned exercises at home. The restoration of the function in my wrist, including bending it in a waving motion and turning it in rotation, was painful and very slow. Typing was impossible for a long time. As a result of breaking my wrist, I found out that I have osteoporosis. I didn't think I was at risk because I've always been active and healthy, and I was a runner. I thought that all of the running was supposed to have strengthened my bones so that I would avoid the osteoporosis that both my mom and grandma have both suffered with. But apparently not. I have a 21-year-old daughter. We've been talking about how she is at risk for osteoporosis because of her great-grandma, her grandma, and now me. She's more aware and working on decreasing her risk by trying to get adequate calcium, vitamin D, and exercising. Talk with your family members. Do you have osteoporosis? If you don't ask yourself this question, you may not find out until you break a bone. Believe me, breaking your wrist is something you want to avoid, and I don't want to repeat.